everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to connect to your site, uh, your security system via the Insight Gold app. And I'll show you how to set it up and then I'm just going to kind of do a quick run through of the features that you can do with the app. So if you haven't already, check the description below and download the app, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, and then go ahead and open the app. You're going to be brought to this screen. It's just letting you know that as of right now, you don't have a location set up. So depending on where you are in the installation process, if you have the site created, you can ask our technicians if it's created yet. You can come up here to the plus symbol in the top right hand corner and give it a click. And this is going to allow you to add the site. So in the site name, this is whatever you want the location to come up as inside of your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and put in our office here. All right, now these next two fields here, I have to block them out because for security purposes I can't really show them. But these are going to be individual to each customer. So unfortunately, I can't give you that information in this video, but um, if I've emailed this to you, I probably included that information, check that email, or go ahead and email me or call the office and I can give you that information to get in, all right? So I'm gonna put in my information here. All right, once you've put in that information, just come on down to this big blue Add Site button and click it. So now, It'll bring you back to this first screen and your site will be created. And this is just telling you that in order to see all the information of the security system, we're going to have to log in using our password. Once we've logged in the first time, then the app will show us some information because it knows that we're supposed to be connected to that system. So if I click on this, it's gonna ask for my user code this code is going to be the same number combination you use when you go to the keypad. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here. And then just go ahead and click this connect button and watch what happens. All right, so I'm now connected to the site. It's just taking a moment here to kind of get everything around, all the information for me. Up here, so depending on how your security system is set up, it can be set up into separate areas. So for us, I have access to these two separate areas. And essentially what an area does is it just makes your one security system kind of like multiple security systems. So instead of just having to arm or disarm the entire uh, amount of sensors that we have, we can actually split them up into different locations so that we can arm them independently of one another of one another up here this just shows you universal control over all these areas at once let's say i didn't want to do anything with the office right now and i just wanted to do something with the storage area i could click that and it'll bring me over to the storage area where i can then do something individually with that area as you can see by these images here, they are currently armed. You can also see that over here. It shows that if we were to walk in, the alarm would go off and the police would be contacted. So let's say I was going to walk uh, inside the office and I didn't want the police to be contacted. If I clicked this button right here, disarm. All right. So now the office is good and I could walk in there and do what I needed to do. And what you're seeing here is, is I'm getting text alerts and push notifications from the app that let me know, hey, uh, the office was opened up just to make sure that I'm aware of it. Um, and as we can see here in just a moment, I'll go over this uh, little notification here. Stay would be for like a residential home where you're going to go to bed at night, 
but you may have to get up in the middle of the night, use the restroom, you may move around the home at night. You can do stay, and what stay will do is it arms all the perimeter of the building and the doors to get inside, but all of the motion detectors inside are not armed. So you won't set off your alarm if you just walk to the restroom in the middle of the night. Over here, this list will tell you how many zones are opened or closed. So if I click on this arrow, here are the zones that we have tied in to the system at the office. And you can sort them uh, however you would like. This is uh, useful if you are leaving for the day and you are somewhere where you have a bunch of windows or doors and you're about ready to close up. The system will let you know if one of these doors is opened and it's actually going to try to stop you from arming because it knows it will just then go into alarm since that zone is opened. So you can go through here and check and see if any of the doors were left open or windows, um, fun stuff like that. Now, let's say um, for some reason there it shows a door open and a forklift something ended up uh, damaging the equipment on the door and now the door just shows opened even if it's shut. And so it won't allow you to arm it in order to leave for the night. Well, what we could do is we could go to whatever zone shows open. So let's just pretend it was this front entry here. And I could click this button. And what that button's going to do is it's just going to bypass that one zone. So it's just kind of like it's going to forget about it until you tell it to remember. So if for some reason the equipment got damaged and it just showed the door open and I couldn't arm it when I left, I could hit that little bypass button and then it will just kind of forget about that door and then it will allow me to arm the rest of the system just ignoring that one door. And then that is uh, nice just in case uh, our technicians aren't available to get to you right away, uh, something like that. You still have security even though you're down that one door. All right, so I'm going to bring that up. So here, uh, PGM shortcut. I will kind of go over what PGMs are here in a second. Down here, it's going to show you uh, the events that have happened. So as we can see here, I had disarmed the office today at that time. So you can see that I disarmed that area and you can also see that it was done by me. So anyone who has access to the app could open it right now and they would also as well see right here that it was me and I was the one who disarmed it. And this log obviously will grow uh, the longer your site is up. Down here off to the right, this you'll want to be careful of. This is basically an on-the-go panic button. And if you were to click this, uh, normally if the alarm were to go off, it would call um, you, the owner, um, anyone else on the call list to make sure that we believed it was an actual burglary or theft and it wasn't just an accidental set off so that the police aren't dispatched. And then after everyone is called, then it will call the police and dispatch the police. With the panic button, however, when you click the panic button, it just automatically calls out to the police um, so you can get someone there as quickly as possible in a, a, a heightened situation. All right, so that's uh, the main screen here. Pretty simple. Um, down here, you can kind of just ignore this video tab. Um, this was back in the day. Paradox had made their own cameras for a while that would integrate into this, but they no longer uh, do that. And so far, I haven't heard of any other cameras that will integrate directly into the app. So for now, this tab, just kind of ignore it. PGM here. These control little relays that you can set up 
uh, to work off of your security system. So if I go here, you can see here on this PGM we have an overhead door hooked up to it. So what I could do is if I pulled up to that overhead door and I wanted to come in, I could go into this menu and click this button here and it would then switch that relay on on the overhead door and it would open the overhead door for me. And in the same vein, while it was up, if I wanted to close it, I could click this again and the door would close. So that's, um, you can kind of do some neat stuff here. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see what else we can set up with these because I think it'd be pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have door access control on the far right here. And this will show you any doors that you have hooked up to the door access control system on your security system. These are not just um, open and closed doors that you know they're open or closed. These actually have an electronic lock on them that um, can be set to a schedule. Can be uh, There can be different user permissions as to who can access what door and at what time. Um, all just a whole bunch of customization here but as you can see we have three doors that are hooked up for locks so for instance if I knew somebody was coming into the office and they needed to get a tool and they got up to the tool crib and the gate is locked and they don't have permission to open it they call me they let me know here from my home I can then just click this button here and that lock will temporarily disable and allow them to get in the tool crib gate. So this also can come in handy um, in case you were to lose your fob or your card in order to open the door. You could also use this until you get a replacement. Um, I also want to say make sure when you open up your app up here in the top right there are these three lines that are going to open up the menu go ahead and make sure your push notification setting is enabled because what that's going to do is anytime it's armed disarmed um, there's a trouble it will automatically do a straight push from the app to your notifications on your phone. Um, an alarm, a siren will go off. It'll let you know and you'll be contacted even before the monitoring station can reach out to you. This way you just get as fast of an alert as possible. Text messages are great as well, but this uh, system's gonna be a bit faster. Uh, everyone, thank you for joining me. I appreciate the time and I appreciate um, getting to work with all of you. So have a wonderful morning or afternoon.